In this video, I will be providing you with an overview of the NAV chart of account structure as well as some basic information about using dimensions within Dynamics NAV. So I'm still the accounting manager here um, in my role center and I'm going to come over into my navigation pane and I'm going to click on the chart of accounts so that I can show you the way that the NAV chart of accounts is laid out. You can see I've got some headers and some totaling accounts here and those are handy both for viewing a, a quick trial balance on screen which is what we've got going on here as well as for creating financial reports which we'll look at um, in a few minutes. But the one thing that you'll notice here is that my chart of accounts is very flat. All I've got is a natural account, um, in this case, office supplies. I don't have reference to a division or a department or a product line or a customer type or anything like that. And that's because NAV doesn't track that in the chart of accounts. NAV tracks that using dimensions. So let's take a minute here and talk about a dimension in NAV. What a dimension is, it, it, provides us with the ability to add additional analysis levels to NAV transactions. It's very flexible because it's not tied to your GL account structure. You can add a new dimension anytime and you can set default dimensions for master files. And so that means, for example, if you have default dimensions tied to a customer, those dimensions will populate the transactions for that customer automatically. So a lot of the the distribution to these dimensions is happening behind the scenes, it's automatic. If you have to add new analysis levels to track more information in NAV, you know, in a segmented chart of accounts, you'd have to add additional segments. But in NAV, you don't have to restructure your chart of accounts, you don't even have to add any new general ledger accounts, all you have to do is add a new dimension. So let's take a look at our dimensions in NAV. I'm just gonna come back to my navigation pane and click Global Dimensions, and you can see I have two dimensions defined. I can have as many as I want, but for our purposes today, we're focusing on these two. Um, we've got Department and Division. Now, these are the dimensions, and it's in the dimension value that contains the, the exactly what those uh, departments are. So I have three departments. I have administration, production, and sales. And then in division, I also have three divisions, California, Ohio, and Texas. Again, as many dimensions as I want. And within each of those dimensions, I can have as many dimension values as I need for that dimension. So let's look at the results of, of using dimensions and recording transactions, in, including those dimensions. So I'm gonna come up here to analysis and we're going to look at an account schedule. And in NAV, an account schedule is simply a financial statement report. Um, so in this case, we're looking at a basic income statement and I'm just going to click overview. And you can see that um, in this particular report, um, we've got pretty standard income statement type lines there with revenue, cost of sales, margin expenses, and net income. And then I've got columns of information here showing my divisions. So I have California, Ohio, and Texas. I have the ability, first of all, I can drill into these if I want to and look at the details um, of all of those transactions that have posted against that, that particular account and dimension. I wanna bring your eyes to the bottom of the screen here where I'm able to filter on dimensions as well. So if I want to, for example, pick my sales department, watch this area right here when I refresh, you can see that there are expenses, all of my revenues being recorded to sales but there are expenses that don't relate to sales. And so those have been pulled out um, for this particular filter. So I can, I can filter on multiple if I want to. If I wanted to see sales and administration, I could pull both of those in um, to this department filter as well. I'm just gonna take that out. And hopefully now you can see how using dimensions in NAV allows you to break out your data the way that you need to see it without having to clutter up your chart of accounts. 
So this includes the, uh, the video on the chart of accounts and dimensions in Dynamics NAV 2016.